what are boundary conditions so you must know at r equal to something velocity v theta is equal to some certain number what do we know from the picture according to the picture here we know when we look for boundary condition we look for interface between two two phases right now we have fluid phase solid phase and another solid phase outside so boundary condition is supposed to be located at these interfaces okay so at inside interface where, whereas the fluid touch the inner core since inner core is stationary velocity of fluid at this particular point is supposed to be zero that's the first boundary condition at r equal to kr velocity is zero the second one is at the another boundary located here at r equal to r we know that velocity here can be calculated from angular velocity okay so we have two boundaries already so at r equal to kr velocity is zero so replacing boundary condition in there you have zero that's the first equation and then another boundary condition at r equal to capital r v theta is equal to what is it equal to omega zero be careful here because omega zero is angular velocity but velocity that we use here is linear velocity so you must identify linear velocity at the point where radius is r so from angular velocity to convert it into linear velocity you just multiply by the distance from the center okay so put it back you have omega r equal to c1 r over 2 plus c2 over r that's the second equation once you have two equations with two unknown c1 and c2 you can solve for c1 and c2 i don't think i don't i i need to do it for you you can do it by yourself all right once you get c1 and c2 just plug it back in here you get velocity profile can you do that i think so because you already did the homework now just a little bit more from this example velocity profile was found from this equation from the theta element what about r and z element if we want to use it what will we get what will we get from r and c component if you integrate r component you should get pressure as a function of r if you integrate z component you get um, pressure as function of z right so you know that pressure itself is function of both r and z okay you cannot integrate r and z individually because they are, they are function of two variables so if you differentiate it
you will get this equation, right? You have seen this kind of formulation several times in thermodynamics. If you have one variable as function of another two variables, total differentiation you get two terms combined. Okay? The first term here can be taken from R component. You know that dP by dr is just V theta squared over R dr. Oh, rho as well. So that's supposed to be rho here. Then dp by dz, you can take it from z component. In this case, it's equal to rho gz, dz. I just keep gz here because we have not defined yet whether z direction is going up or going down. It doesn't matter because direction of the flow in this case is not related to z direction. You can take z to be up or z to be down. The sign here will be correspond to that. Okay? So if you want to get pressure, simply just integrate it. So you have integrate of rho v theta squared by over r dr plus integration of rho gz dz. So if you continue this part, you solve for C1 and C2, plug it back in this equation, rearrange it just a little, you will get velocity profile like this. Okay. This one is obtained from constant C1 and C2 that you just solved and plug it back into the original equation. You get this velocity profile. From this equation, I'm going to rearrange it just a little. I'm going to take the denominator here to be one over um, to be one minus k squared, and the k here would go upward. Okay. Inside, inside here, I'm going to take one over k out. So one over k out from the inside parenthesis, you have r over capital R minus k square capital R over R. The reason I do that because I want to use this equation for the case where there is no core. The dimension of the core here is kr. If I want to apply the same equation to this fluid in the rotating tank. So that that's means the tank itself has no core. It simply just apply k equal to zero, right? So I don't need to derive everything again. I can just use the velocity profile that we already did and apply k equal to zero, okay? 
but from this form you cannot apply k equal to zero right away because this would give you infinite velocity that's incorrect so I'm going to eliminate denominator k in denominator by simply cancel it out and from this equation you can take k equal to zero if k equal to zero this term will be dropped this term will be dropped as well okay so if k is equal to zero what you get would be v theta equal to what this term is already dropped k1 k here is zero so capital R here and capital R there we cancel out and you will get v theta is simply omega times small r okay this equation itself is basically the angular moment ang angular velocity times the distance so if the fluid is located further from the center then velocity will be higher it's just simply physics okay and by doing that is another way to check that our answer there or our solution there is correct it has nothing wrong okay so if I take V theta equal to um, omega r into the pressure equation here I can basically integrate this what you have would be pressure equal to integrate of rho omega square r square over r dr plus integrate of rho g dc all right now this one can be integrated easily r and r here cancel out rho is not function of r you take it out you get rho omega square r square over 2 the second term also can be integrated easily okay however since we integrated without limit we need to add another integration constant you can add only one integration constant because one from here and one from there are both constant they can just add it up to one single constant all right so now if you want to determine this constant you need one boundary condition however in this case the boundary condition supposed to identify both r and z so you need to identify one point in your system whereas you know the pressure and both r and z right normally the if you have a tank filled with liquid and you rotate the tank what you expect is some some sort of vortex okay now we know that along the surface here of the liquid pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure we know that at this point r is equal to zero okay but z is not zero if you take direction of z to be down and r to be like this the origin point is supposed to be located not on the surface of the water here because surface water form a curve like this so see here if I say that at this point z is equal to some certain value that we can measure somehow 